Hi there guys, it's Pip here. So today is day three of the 90 day video journey and I just want to talk to you about doubting yourself. So this is something that plagues me massively. Um, it's something that I really struggle with. Um, not knowing who you are is painful. Uh, as I say, I've had a lot of different jobs this year, I've tried a lot of different things, but I find myself in a place now where, you know, people say, oh, you know, what are your values and what are your beliefs? I don't know. Um, and it can create a lot of turbulence and you can have some really horrible days. Um, so the reason I want to talk to you about this is not because I want to tell you that you can have really horrible days. The thing I really want to share is that knowing who you are, takes a lot of time because the truth is that a lot of people out there they react to life they are the thermometer instead of the thermostat um, and I'm reading this book I just want to show you this actually um, so this is um, Millionaire Success Habits it's by uh, Dean Graziosi who if you haven't come across Dean Graziosi, I'm sure you have. He's on a lot of YouTube channels, um, on YouTube ads, sorry, and he does a few ads with Tony Robbins. Um, and I got this book. Um, he was doing a seminar one time, and I think I watched it at like one in the morning, and I had work the next day. Um, and I'm usually very sensible with with um, going to bed times because I get really really tired and cranky if I don't have enough sleep. Um, but he talks about being the thermostat and the thermometer, and. One thing that really made this journey was I was listening to Ty Lopez and one he said that you become the, the average of the five people um, that you associate with and I knew when I watched that video, which was literally the video just before I uh, watched the I'd buy my mentor and then became a member, um, it became apparent to me that those sorts of things had to change. So I was just thinking about this the other day um, and I was just thinking about this concept and, and I was thinking about, you know, who who do I need to surround myself and who do I need to let go of in the new year um, because they're very nice people but um, the way they conduct their life, I think, or not, not, and it's not in a bad way but they are, you know, employees and that's what they want to do, you know, their field is very different to my field. Um, you know, you you do go separate from your friends, um, and I was asking myself, who's the thermostat and who's the thermometer? And you know, thermometers are people who are kind of they think they're in control of their life, but really they're on a path where maybe they haven't made a conscious choice. Is what I'm trying to say. Um, like, you know, you maybe have someone who's an employee and they're really happy being an employee um, but they haven't really made a conscious choice they just turn up when the boss tells them to and they do whatever the boss says and then they go home and yes, they have control of their own life at home but really in the grand scheme of things they're kind of going along with this wheel of society that tells us that this is what we have to do you know, we have to go to a job and um, do all those things they haven't gone oh right yes I do realize that there's alternatives and yes I've made a conscious decision to to actually stay on the path that I'm on um, and then you've got them stats who are like people who are really trying to take control of our li their lives who are in control of their lives and um, which I suppose is why I really ma massively admire um, Tony Robbins in particular because um, you know some of the things he's he's gone through when he you know did become a um, when his life did change and, and how his, quickly his life changed. Um, he went from, you know, pretty much being the average kind of person to, uh, I think it was a millionaire in less than, you know, in about 12 months. Um, and, you know, I think these are the people that we look to as entrepreneurs. Um, you know, I would have never heard of Dean Graziosi or be reading this book if I was not starting on this journey. This book, by the way, you can, like, get that from a library. I spend a lot of my time in libraries. I am, I am sick to death of spending my time in libraries. They're probably sick to death of me as well. Um, like, it, free. This is free, guys. You can do this. This is actually my own copy. You can get your own copy. But 
you can also get it from a library. Um, education doesn't have to cost you, just have to know what you are looking for. Um, and I think in our lives we are really thermometers, just trying to become thermostats. I think that's what I understand and it's quite scary, you know. Um, I don't like the concept of being in control of my own life because I have this fear that things are going to go wrong, that things are going to crash and I think that's what I've really experienced this year, like I tried to get ahead and because I didn't have the foundations in place, um, like Jay talks about so often, um, it will crash back down, like so much of this journey is about the mindset, in fact, you know what, pretty much I would say 80-95% to of this journey is the mindset and I've had a really really bad mindset because I don't come from an entrepreneurial, uh, entrepreneurial background and that sounds like an excuse, um, and it is an excuse, it's really bad. Um, but I don't know anyone who's in business, I've never been part of a business, never been exposed to anyone who, who thinks in the business terms, who, use, who uses business terms, who thinks financially. My parents never talked to me about finance, um, or investing, or I, I've never had that kind of influence. And then. You know, it's not a surprise really that people my age are really struggling with finances and the parents are going, well, you're doing it wrong, but they haven't been given the structure in place. Um, so this journey means that you will have to become a, a, a thermostat in so many ways. And that was just really my re revelation and realisation for the day. And it it is a huge mindset leap. Um, that's really the only difference. Um, and of course when you use your mind differently and you have start having different thoughts um, you do different things I was on a web call with my mentor tonight and at one point I was just looking at him and like being like it's so odd that you are who you are I mean you could be anybody you could be somebody working at a zoo you could be working on an <coughs> excuse me on an oil rig you could be um, you know you could chosen to, to move countries, you could have chosen to split up with your partner, you could have chosen to um, do so many different things in your life and it's it's, it's one in a million chance really, um, I haven't done the statistics but really when you think about the odds of you A being on this planet at this point in your life and B doing the things that you are doing right now, being part of this journey, um, it's really, it's a very slim chance of you actually being here. So. I know myself I get angry with myself sometimes because I don't know certain things and I get angry with what I don't know and I always feel like I know so much less than everybody else um, but I also know more than a lot of people a lot of people I, I speak to now like my family they don't understand this digital digital economy they don't understand what I'm doing at all they think I'm just faffing around on a computer my friends don't really understand it um, they're interested in ask questions but I don't think they really understand it um, and so I suppose that's why it's so important for us to support each other um, you know when you're joining this journey you know you're you're in the sort of kind of caught between the two you know you have to leave that one group that you're so familiar with but then you're trans you know transgressing to this new group and you kind of don't fit in either yet you're kind of in the middle um, and it takes everybody different it's time to say this is the second time I'm doing this journey um, I am a different person now hopefully I'm trying to become a different person because I've realised a lot of things over the past few days that I just need to change because otherwise I'm never ever going to be able to improve my life or you know the person who is able to have a successful business is not me who I am right now um, and I think it's I don't know maybe this revelation has come at the right time for me um, but I did want to help you with that thermostats and thermometers because hopefully you can see right away people in your lives who are thermostats and who are thermometers and as I say the thermometers are not bad people um, they might be doing really great but they they aren't consciously aware and 2020 is a new decade and um, like it was said on the vision we call and I know there is no way that I'm going to make the changes that I need to make no longer want to make, I need to make and I am scared of doing it but I need to make these changes and I need to change those people and this is why I'm trying to connect more with the group to have that influence so that's all from me 
and um as again well done to you guys who are doing this journey um you know it's not easy um and i do want to inspire you from somebody who's been in this journey for over a year i did have a break um but i've come back because the personal growth for me is worth it it will challenge you you will have some really tough times as i say yesterday was a really tough day for me um you can have realizations that make you cry um because it shows you in your true light um but yeah that's all i want to share with you so take care and i'll see you tomorrow